Hi, this is Pete Callahan, and uh, this is a video on creating a torrent uh, for the distribution of some software. In this case, an MX Linux distribution. So, uh, setting up a torrent involves mm, quite a few steps, and it can be a bit confusing, so I thought it would be useful to walk through some of the basic steps in a video. Uh, for reference, a uh, text reference anyway, our old friend Silverbear created a really nice wiki entry here. And uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Qubit Torrent. You can see it here on the screen. That's what I'm running on MX14. Others uh, may be using Deluge or Transmission or, or KTorrent, but the pr principles are basically the same. So even though there are a lot of smaller steps overall, they can be broken down into two categories. First, creating the torrent control file locally, and then uploading that control file and listing the torrent on linuxtracker.org, which kind of has its own uh, quirky issues, which make it important to have a video and walkthrough. Now, before we get to the part uh, where we actually create torrent control file, one of the the things that you want to do first is make sure that the uh, files uh, you're going to work with when you're all done, the, the control file from linuxtracker.org that's downloaded in the end is in the same directory as your ISO file. So uh, one of the things you should probably do when you first start is go to tools and options and make sure that on downloads here you have saved your files to the same location in the end where uh, ISO file is. So in this case uh, you can see I've, I've got a directory, a subdirectory called MX where I keep the ISO file and that ultimately is where I put the final uh, linuxtracker.org control file along with the ISO file so that when I start up the seed, the control file doesn't cause QubitTorrent to start downloading from other sources. Instead, it will actually uh, check the, the ISO that's in the same directory, and off you go, you start seeding. So uh, let's go to the first step, which is creating this uh, control file. You go to Tools and Torrent Creator, and uh, it opens up a dialog box which is pretty straightforward. You uh, click on add a file and here the file you're going to add is the ISO file. So when I click on file here I, it takes me to a directory I've been using and you can see in this example I'm going to use uh, the MX14 PAE ISO. So I click on the that particular ISO and it puts it in you know, puts it in here, including the path. And then you can see that the URL for the announce message on Linux Tracker is in there. I keep that in a text file and, and I just cut and paste it in there. And once you put it in there once on QubitTorrent, it's going to stay there. You don't really need to fill out these two fields. You can put comments in, but I don't really know where that actually gets used. So I don't bother anymore. Um, and the rest I would leave as default. The, the, the piece size is really the chunk of the software, the ch chunk of the uh, transfer, uh, and private don't check. And um, you can click uh, start seeding after creation, but it's not necessary because you can start it yourself. And then uh, you cre click create and save. Now, uh, when you are going to save the, the torrent control file, uh, it's a good idea to put it into a, a separate folder that because the names are easily confused. And uh, I, in my case, I create a folder called Torrent Creation. And you see I've already created the file, uh, mx14.3pae torrent, but you could put in any name you want. So it's your choice on using any name. In my case, I just uh, I use the the same nomenclature as the ISO, just with uh, .torrent at the end instead of ISO. So you click Save. In this case, I'm not going to do that because I've already created it. And uh, it happens very quickly. And now you have yourself a control file. So let's back out of this <clears throat> and move on to uh, linuxtracker.org. 
So uh, LinuxTracker.org um, requires that you you create an account, and once you've done that and logged in, you'll see in the main menu that there's a, a little item here called Upload. You click on Upload, which takes you to this next screen. Now here I've filled out uh, some of these items already. Um, for example, the torrent file you're going to choose is in fact the control file you just created. So in this case, uh, it's uh, mc14.3pie.torrent. And uh, I also get to create a category or use a category. In this case, I've chosen Mepis from a pull down. And the file name, I'm using the same, you know, the same uh, nomenclature here. It turns out that the file name that gets posted on the website uh, ignores the dashes. So it'll be MX space 14.3 space BAE. And then um, the description is important. So that varies, of course, according to the release. In my case, uh, what I do when I'm working on torrents is I have a text file that I keep. And uh, let's go over there to look at that. The I just call it description.txt. And you can see what I'm going to use is the the uh, text that we all agreed on here. I usually don't put any formatting in it. You can see that there's the ability to do that. The next thing I do is uh, put in a screenshot, which is a very simple screenshot uh, that helps identify. And in this case, I choose PNG. Put that in there. It's marked already to not send it as anonymous because I'm logged in. And then I put in the image code uh, here just to, you know for the anti-spam and then click send. Now once you click send then you've basically uploaded the, the torrent and it's going to create another torrent file for you to download. And this is where it can be a little bit confusing. So once you've uploaded the torrent control file the next step involves finding the published torrent downloading it so you can start seeding and also copying the link so you can post it. So you start by going to torrents and then we're going to search for a torrent. In this case uh, just put in Mepis as the category and it's set by default to active only. You do click search and there's the MX14.3 PIE Here's a little green arrow for download. You click on that. It takes you to the download page. Now here you can uh, right click and save link as to uh, save the torrent itself or copy the link address so that you can post it. So in this case we're going to do a save link as. It uh, takes me to the MX directory um, and you see here mx14.3pae.torrent. I've already done that uh, and saved it uh, in the same directory where my ISO is. Then I go back to Qubit Torrent, and as long as my ISO is in the same directory as the the torrent file that I've created on linuxtracker.org, then I can start seeding it. So for example, uh, let me just show you that process. Let's just take this out. Imagine that uh, this particular torrent is not there and I go ahead and add uh, mx14.3pae. I open it and because I also have the ISO in the same directory it does a check uh, against the ISO and immediately starts seeding it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's how you create a torrent on linuxtracker.org. Hope this has helped and uh, see you around.